Alright guys, the, we're at the first checkpoint of the last day, Garden of the Gods. Uh, but there's lots of traffic, so we can't stop because yeah. all the pull-offs are full. But I'll put, you guys will see the time lapse um, from the garden here, which is, this place is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, also, since we didn't do the intro yet, we'll just do the intro now. So today is day seven of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Yo. Um, we've got, I don't know, a hundred-ish miles to drive. Yeah. I don't, I don't know exactly how and far this it is. This is the but... only checkpoint. Oh, okay. So, yep. first and only checkpoint. Um, yeah. So we got to drive from Colorado Springs to Denver um, because we stayed in Colorado Springs last night. Yep. But, yeah. We're getting it back on the road, and we'll see you guys in a few. Yo. Uh, we made that trip through the mountains. I think we're 20 or 30 miles from the track. We stopped at um, what is this place called? The Snowpack Tap Room to, to grab a bite to eat with everybody. We're gonna hit the road um, and get down to Bandemir and get the cars all ready, and we'll see you guys there. After a little over 1,300 miles, we have returned to Bandemir Speedway, and the curse has made it as well. It is up on the lift because it has been puking oil, and they're getting it sealed up right now so that Jamie can still make his final pass. How oily was your car this morning? No, it wasn't. You, you stayed back far enough last night, yeah, didn't you? Getting oil on me. That's why I was like, why is he pulling over? Uh, I wasn't getting oil on me. Man, I, your headlights are so good. I like looked, I was smelling oil and I'm like, man, what the heck is Leroy and Ruby screwed you could just up? See, like, and then I looked There was the a cloud like, coming out of his wow. car when we like, stopped. I was like, oh crap, that's me. All right, Jamie, tell me, give me a short rundown of last night. It sucked. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, short rundown. We puked a lot of oil, we poured a lot of oil, we drove really fast, it was ugly. We pulled the tranny again, we pulled the oil pan again, we put it all back together, we went JB Quick on a rear main that lasted about four blocks from the hotel. Oh. All that work, made it four blocks, so we were on the pour and go plan all day. Oh, okay. Todd's got pictures of the whole route of my oil trailer. Yeah, I saw it. So it was a constant the whole way. Yeah, pretty much. We went through gallons. I mean, you can see when I pulled where I pulled in over there. Yeah. You see it. Yeah, all the way in. Bernie but was saying it was a couple hundred dollars worth of oil. At least I think she took my wallet away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens sometimes. It's whatever. Yeah. I made it here. You did. This is a downhill. I can just roll down. We can coast out. it. Yeah. So. I'll get out and push it. I don't care. It's getting across that beam today. So if anybody hasn't been to Bandemir, this track is unique because the staging lanes, you can just coast with the engine off because it's a good, decent downhill, and the car will just roll down the hill by itself. Most tracks you visit, the staging lanes are flat, and some are even uphill. So you have to either start the car or push it. We're downhill. Yep. Everything is on my side today, except my sleep. Yes. Did you get any? No, no. Zero. I mean, I closed my eyes for three minutes, and then they told me to come put this on the lift and do this. Oh. So I wasn't going to turn that down. So when you started it, so I heard it at like quarter Six. to seven or something. Yeah. Um, was that when you finished? 
so we ran into some other issues also. The oil return line was toast. Oh, okay. So we were spent an hour trying to find that, and then we were out of tranny fluid, so I spent an hour trying to find that. Um, we actually got Four Rivers to open early to sell us hydraulic fluid. Nice. Um, Joe saved the day figuring out that the catch can line is close enough to the return line that I made it work. Okay. So, yeah, that was when we finally got enough fluids in it to start it. Right. And it started and went into gear, and I took a shower and we left. Oh, okay then. So, well, I didn't sleep, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> but that was a really nice hotel room shower. It was. That hotel was super nice. Totally worth it. the beds, but that shower was perfect. Yeah. So anyways, the curse against all odds has made it at least through all of the driving. Yeah. Now it's just gotta make it down that hill once. Yep, and I'm pretty sure and it's I, gonna do it that. If it make it back, it's no big deal. It did what it's supposed to. Right. Uh, my wife's got the trailer down in the parking lot. And I'll let her load it up and yell at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's been an amazing journey so far, but um, we've got a little bit of work to do on our car to get it ready, pull out all the bags and the stuff that's been loaded in there. Uh, gonna go get that done. And I think racing starts in an hour or so, something like that. And we'll bring you guys some action here in just a minute. They called us up for the first round here. Uh, for the last day of Rocky Mountain Race Week. So we're back at Vandermeer Speedway. I'm gonna get a pass in the car. Um, I haven't looked at the DA today, but I think the air temperature was uh, mid 80s to upper 80s, 86 or 87. So the car uh, on the first day here at Vandermeer went 12.6. Uh, Probably gonna be pretty close to that again today, although I do have the seat out um, today and I did not on the first day so perhaps a 12.50 although I'm not going to hold my breath on that one so probably a 12.60 and we're going to get that pass done and you guys will see that in just a second here we go our first hit back at the track last day Johnston, Colorado I was back in the pits and totally failed. Jamie's about to run right now. Congratulations, man. We made it. That's amazing. We worked hard for that. All we had. Yeah. Let's go see what he has to say. You did it man. though. We did. We battled all the way. Every day there was something. I think we had one good day. Where yeah. We didn't have anything go wrong. That was between Nebraska and Kansas. Yep. Everything went good that day. And there it went downhill again. Well, we fought it. We made our pass. As of right now, we've completed race three. Let's see what Jamie wants to do. All right. All right, man. Give me a high five, Jamie. You made it through race week. It still runs. And it still runs. Jamie, you finished. <laughs> 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 still runs. Jamie finished. Four transmissions out. So happy, dude. <laughs> he finished race week. Where's your boy at? Yes, dude. Did it come apart? <laughs> Look at all the oil. Oh, my. Woo! Oh, oh, bro, there's a pool. So like, <laughs> it stayed in there, though. It stayed it's in. Good, man. Yeah, but it stayed in there. I wondered if I was stuck at the top end or not. It stayed there. I don't know. Out. It stayed there. Brother, I'm turning that in. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I would, too. <laughs> yeah. All that work, man. Yeah. You ready to do yours next year? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you shut it off here in this stage. Yeah. We're on top of this wall, bro. Oh. I don't even know what it did when it came out. It just didn't move. I don't well, even care. Tires. You sparked it. It didn't even feel right. like it. Oh, you knew it was fine. All it did was blaze it. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't care. I did. You had broken the beams and you had won. Yeah. You did it. We'll think about solutions later. Yeah. We're not going to work tomorrow. Yeah, neither am I. Okay, after the first pass, the car went a, um, let me look real quick, a 1262 at 107. Uh, the DA was 9,700 feet. Hasn't really improved, um, but I've had a little more time for the car to cool off, so I'm gonna run the car again and see if we can't get a 12.5 here at Vandermeer uh, to turn in. Um, yeah, so that's about all I got for this. Jamie did make that pass, which was amazing. So he has completed race week officially. Uh, he was just going to turn in his last slip. He's in the running for rookie of the year. Hopefully that will pan out. I know he's poured his heart and soul into this race week. And uh, I mean, his, his will to continue on is just kind of blowing my mind, really. But I'm going to make this pass. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, made that second pass. Uh, the car went at 12.57. Um, gonna make another pass here. It has cooled off a bit. It's been a little while since I made that second pass, so the temperature has cooled down. DA doesn't really seem like it's improved a whole lot. I think it's 9,600 feet currently, and it was 97 um, on the last pass. So I'm gonna go get in line and see what it does. This will be my last pass of the whole thing. Twelve fifty two one oh nine. Here we go. Last pass of the night. Ooh, twelve forty seven. One oh nine. I'll take it. Let's uh, let's recap the week for them. We broke my car. We tore apart my car. We fixed my car. We broke my car. We tore apart my car. We fixed my car. We broke my car. We tore apart my car. We were late everywhere. We left early everywhere. We broke everywhere. That sounds. That's how it went down. Pretty accurate. I think I went through 50 gallons of oil, 25 gallons of tranny fluid, um, six <laughs> things of JB Quick. <laughs> Here's our Eric Wilson guy, the international pickup I didn't truck. use a lot of animals, Again, though. International body swung in like a two the car was hot a lot, break. Yeah, but I didn't lose a lot of antifreeze. I actually don't think we stopped at all to put antifreeze in. No, we stopped a couple times to let it cool off, and it only spit once. Yeah. That was that first day in the mountains. Yeah, that was the first day. Eric so, Wilson. And then we well, got my trail and it does some kind of oh, yes. down the mountain. Here, let's see. Yeah. So this was... This was first mess. Yeah, first so day. actually right where my car is parked it was first day. was, uh, and then you can see the trail that kind of comes out from under my car and goes over there. That was my drive in today. That's what you got pictures of down the whole mountain. Yeah, we could see it as we were driving. You could like see it in places. You could see where like I ran blowing up on oil. It was spinning a lot. Yeah. Todd, you gonna find that picture? Yes. Right here. 
Longo's 13.45. Yep. That was me. That's it, I'll focus. Come on, focus. Oh, you can there see it. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was multiple multiple spots like that on our drive today where we just saw that trail we could see that jamie had been there i was actually kind of joking this morning when i went out and you were gone jeff collins i wanted to take a picture but i hadn't done so many that's got chunks and started on and he went to trend hashtag during the week jamie was here yeah don't get here we could do like and this one he was he that the one up there yeah, or the one over there right. down the mountain every the hotel mountain. <laughs> The two shops that I was using lifts at. Uh, that one gas station out there. Yeah, Kersey. I mean, it was a That's very hard day, but I would say it was also a very good week. Okay, so I've got week. sunglasses on. I don't, I don't even want to see my eyes. Right, I'm dead. Wilson. I didn't sleep last night. Me and Willie. Who else is Honestly, he's kind of the Both trucks building boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sure. guy was working so hard. And he took week. my shoe. Trevor Wilson leaves Because I did get frustrated by it every time. Yeah. It's rough. This, it isn't just rough but physically. And, you know, it isn't just rough on the cars. It's I mean, rough emotionally and yeah. mentally. Yep. Like, you build something and I street drive that car all the time. I don't street drive it at 105 degree weather, 100 degree weather in the mountains in the middle of the day. I drive it at night to a car meet. It's different. It's a lot different. That's not what I built the car for. That's not what that right. auto was built for. Yeah. But That's it okay, made it. Though. It made it. Steven Thompson made it. Somehow. <laughs> so we completed our first race week. Unfortunately, Colton oh, didn't cut us all. Yeah, yeah. Colton saw it. was awesome, dude. So originally I was planning to take my Civic Hatch and the reason I chose Todd as my co-pilot is he's Those obviously- all like, who is the best to go with? Right, yeah, super familiar with the platform and the engine that's in it and everything else. And how fast we can be able to fix yeah. something. Right? Exactly. Todd can whip out a transmission job real quick, he can whip out a motor real quick, you know, diagnose wiring real quick. It, you know, it works. He's a good, he's a good co-pilot for anything Honda Civic or CRX or any of that. Yeah. So it. thanks for yeah. coming with, even though we didn't really need to do anything. Yeah. You know. Maybe it's the calm before the storm next year. Oh yeah. Next year. Yeah. Next year's your year. Oh yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Next year. I mean, I'm not a rookie anymore, so definitely. It's still different. It's going to be different. The second you try and do it in one of your cars. Oh yeah. Oh, got, I know. Because like your CRX, I know you street driven that for A years. lot for years. I don't think I could do it in its current state. If I dialed it back to where it used to be for forever, then I could do it. But I, there would still be some little Oh issues, yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, no, actually. It wouldn't be like my issues, but there would still be some issues, because that's a tear. I drove that car to Chicago and back, actually. Yeah. With, with the swap and the turbo kit and stuff. Yeah. I drove mine to Utah. I've driven mine to Utah. It made 400 horsepower. Though. That's actually about where mine was. Was roughly 400. 400. The car was streetable everywhere. Watch it run like I drive across the country. Yep. Now I did race week. Well, race week's been really epic. Um, I can't wait to do it again. Yeah. What do you think, Todd? It's going to be rad. Todd's talking. Like we were driving today, and Todd was like, "I want to build something." I already got a plan A has and B. I, I have to build the plan B. It, that way, that's ready. And just make a hit, make sure it's ready. And then the plan A, is you just work on that prior. Right. And make sure that's ready. That way, B will be ready just like you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just want to, like, I want to get my car done, like, six months in advance. Yeah, that was my plan. Right? And then just <laughs> drive it to work every day. That was my plan. You know, to make sure to the gas all that stupid back. little crap you know, is is good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be yep. Actually, <laughs> well anyways, I just wanna say thanks for the, all the support this week. Make sure you uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And uh, yeah, thanks for tagging along. Have a good one. Hey, I'm Dan's wife. They're going in right now for the award ceremony. Uh, this is actually a, a close friend of mine, but uh, you know, the, what he won is well deserved because this guy had his transmission out of his car 
four times this week. Jonas thrust bearing was willing to do thrust bearings on the side of the road and uh, you know, lit his car anywhere he could, went through gallons and gallons and gallons of oil. The guy's a fighter, I know he pulled over to help uh, some people with fuel pumps. I know he pulled over with a guy who blew out a slick and put a trailer tire on his car just so he could get out of the way and off the road. And our rookie of the year is gonna to go to Jamie Lankford from PFI School. And here's the deal. I'm gonna make this an annual award. I put 250 bucks amount of money in this every year, alright? The winner last year is the winner of this year. And therefore, an honor.